Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shadowcat as the channel name suggests. And today we're dipping our toes back into the Star Wars waters. Hello. For starters, I hope everyone had a fantastic holiday season. Um, I took a little bit of a break from making videos, but I am back and I'm feeling refreshed and I am so excited to continue watching movies with you guys. I am very, very, very much looking forward to revisiting the galaxy far, far away. If memory serves, I'm pretty sure somebody told me that this movie is about like the expedition that happens um, right before the events of A New Hope, where the team tries to get the, the plans for the Death Star. So uh, I'm not sure how true that is, but if that is the case, then that's all I kind of know about the movie. I am curious to know whether we're going to see some old favorites in this one. Um, I think that this movie came out in 2016. So, you know, the logistics of that are kind of hard to imagine, I guess. But um, I guess we'll find out. I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited and I'm so happy to be back and I hope you guys are happy to see me because I'm happy to see my webcam. Knowing that you're on the other side though, you know? <laughs> I just want to get into this next one. So without further ado, let's watch Rogue One. We're starting the exact same way we left off. You can definitely tell that this is a different era of making movies than the original Star Wars. Mama! Jin. Did they name her after their favorite beverage? Remember, whatever I do, I do it to protect you. So you understand? Trust the Force. Okay. Is she force sensitive? I don't know what that little necklace was. What is it you want? The work has stalled. I need you to come back. I won't do it, Craig. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. Oh, did he work for the Emperor? Yeah. You're an inspired son. You're a terrible liar. I feel like he's gone. I admire the effort. To be murdered. Stop! Oh. oh Lyra. You will never win. Do it. I thought he was gonna get shot. My child. Change it up a little bit. I see you. One of the cargo drivers he defected yesterday. He's telling people they're making a weapon. The Kyber crystals, that's what they're for. What kind of weapon? Look, I have to go. What kind a of weapon? A weapon that destroys planets. planets. Yeah. Someone named Urso sent him some old friend of Saul. A lot of new names. Jeddah. Imperial Occupied Moon. Interesting. We're in the middle of nowhere. We need to get to Jeddah City. What part of urgent message do you guys not understand? <laughs> we are all on the same side. If you can see past the uniform for a minute, I've got to speak. It's hard. Mm. Wubani? Wabani? Wabani? Waboni? Oh. Congratulations. You are being rescued. This is Captain Cassian Andor, Rebel Intelligence. Andor. When was Isn't the that last like time show? you were in contact with your father? You're rebels, aren't you? Yes, but Saw Gerrera is an extremist. His militancy has caused the Alliance a great many problems. Interesting. We have no choice now but to try and mend that broken trust. The pilot says he was 
sent by your father. We hmm. need to stop this weapon before it is finished. I'm K2SO. K2SO? I'm a reprogrammed Imperial droid. Program. Why does she get a blaster and I don't? <laughs> what? I know how to use it. <laughs> so sassy. Where'd you get it? I found it. I find that answer vague and unconvincing. <laughs> Poor Gully. Poor Gully? What does that mean? You have made time an ally of the rebellion. I suggest we solve both problems simultaneously with an immediate test of the weapon. I feel like they don't get to use the Death Star until they blow up that one planet in the first movie. Maybe I'm wrong in that. Like, maybe they do blow up other planets before then. What was that planet called? I can't remember. At the beginning, the father says that every single thing that he does is to protect her. So I'm really kind of curious how that's going to come back around. Because I feel like it's not going to make sense to us what his plan is, but I think that it's going to make sense in the end. Poor Gullet can feel your thoughts. No lie is safe. Oh, I don't like that. The unfortunate side effect is that one tends to lose one's mind. What? Hey, you just fucked yourself. No, no. Sorry, sorry. We don't want any trouble. Sorry. Oh. We've seen that thing before. I remember thinking that it looked really funny. Rebellions are built on hope. New hopes, more specifically. May the force of others be with you. May the force of others be with you. I've never heard it said like that. How did you know I was wearing a necklace? Well, that answer you must pay. <laughs> Who are they? The guardians of the wills, protectors of the Kyber Temple. There is so much lore in Star Wars. Holy crap. I feel like I'm going to go read some Wikipedia pages after this. Uh, there's always an abandoned child in the middle of a battlefield that you got to go save. Did you know that wasn't me? Oh my god! <laughs> I thought she shot him. There are a lot of explosions for two people blending in. Freeze! Right <laughs> I should just wait on the ship. Oh my god. He's so funny. I love how the droids in this like have like such distinct personalities. It almost like makes you wonder, like, do you program personalities into them or do they just develop a personality? Like, how does it work? He is taking us to the quiet. <laughs> and there's a fresh one if you mouth off again. <laughs> <I don't care. laughs> Gotta play the part. Point me in the right direction. Oh, It's your foot, all right. Dang. Clear of hostiles. One hostile. He's with us. They all right. She saved him. Is he gonna like her now? Cassian, I'm sorry about the slap. Mm -hmm. Go back to the ship. Wait for my call. The slap heard around the galaxy. <laughs> oh wow! What? Those are his men. We are no friends of the Empire. Are you kidding me? I'm blind. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that these are the guys that took the other guy to go see Saw Gerrera, so I'm pretty sure 
that's where they're headed right now. The last time I saw you, you gave me a knife and loaded blaster and told me to wait in the bunker till daylight. I knew you were safe. You left me behind. Not a day goes by. Then I don't think of you. I am not sure what to think about the Sagarera character. You can stand to see the Imperial flag rain across the galaxy. It's not a problem if you don't look up. Girl, it's still a problem. <laughs> I mean, with stormtroopers f***ing swarming the streets and people having to get their documents checked and everything like that, like, I don't think your biggest problem is just seeing a flag, you know? Like, there are obviously other consequences of having the Galactic Empire rule. We need a statement, not a manifesto. Uh, the Holy okay. City will be enough for today. So they're not going to destroy the entire planet, they're just going to do a city? I brought the message, I'm the pilot. <sighs> oh yeah, they used the f***ing mind machine on him, mind machine, the like mind octopus thing on him. I think that it was saying that like you could lose your mind or whatever. But though I don't dare hope for too much, a chance for Jen. If she's alive, if you can possibly find her. We call it the Death Star. There is no better name. And the day is coming soon when it will be unleashed. Mm. I've placed a weakness deep within the system. A flaw so small and powerful they will never find it. Wow. Wow. So he basically had no opportunity of getting out of it. And if he was able to get out of it they would just find someone else so he did like the smart thing and was like okay i'll work on it but i'll make it uh easy to destroy you'll need the plans cool. Cool, the cool, structural cool. plans for the death star to find the reactor i know there's a complete engineering archive in the data vault at the citadel tower on scarif Whew. that's quite the mission oh shit. they used it didn't they <laughs> I'm standing by as you requested, although there's a problem on the horizon. There's no horizon. <laughs> get the pilot. We need him. All right. I'll get the pilot. He's not doing well, though. Can he still fly? Save the rebellion! Save the dream! I have so many questions about this, like, Saw Guerrero character. The way everything is just like lifting. Wow. I didn't think that just like blowing up a single city would really showcase the ca capabilities of the Death Star, but yeah, no, that looks very, very f***ing menacing and powerful, so. We have no idea what he's building for the Empire. We have to kill Galen Erso while we have the chance. Damn. I mean, from their perspective, he's just working for the Empire. He sacrificed himself for the rebellion. He's rigged a trap inside it. That's why he sent you, to bring that message. Where is it? Where is the message? I mean... It was a hologram. Yeah. Did you see it? Are they not going to believe her? I'm not the one you got to convince. There is so much interesting lore with Star Wars. I really did not understand, I guess, the depths of it. I'm really excited to actually like do a deep dive because I love, I love world building and I love reading about it. Captain Andor. Why do you ask that? What, what do you mean? Does he look like a killer? The force moves darkly near a creature that's about to kill. So is the, I think it's a, 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 a series? Is that about this character? Andor? Is it worth watching? 
you know, I feel like there are so many Star Wars shows now that I don't even know where to start. Um, I want to watch Obi-Wan. I also want to watch The Mandalorian. And if Andor is any good, then I want to watch that as well. So um, let me know what I should check out, if anything. Hello? Good luck. I don't need luck. I have you. Does that mean he'll just like come to the rescue? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I am really curious what happens to these characters because they're not in A New Hope, right? So I wonder if they all make it out alive. One of you betrayed the Empire. One of you Do they know? Inspired with a pilot to send messages to the rebellion. And fire! Stop! Stop! Credit! Stop! It was me! It was me! Uh, The stormtroopers are like hilariously kind of weak and it's like shouldn't they be stronger? I just feel like they should be stronger. Sorry, again, stormtroopers, y'all. Y'all need to go to training or something. Put up a fight, at least. You went up there to kill my father. You don't know what you're talking about. Deny it. You're in shock. I'm looking for some place to put it. I saw you. I bet you have. You lied about but why he didn't came do here, it. You lied about why you went up alone. I had every chance to pull the trigger. Yeah, it's true. But did I? He didn't do it. I've been in this fight since I was six years old. Oh, sh You're not the only one who lost everything. Was it just like his parents were rebels? Oh my god. Hit me with that James Earl Jones, please. There is no Death Star. The Senate has been informed that Jeddah was destroyed in a mining disaster. Yes, my lord. I expect you not to rest until you can assure the Emperor that Galen Erso has not compromised this weapon in any way. So I'm still in command? I feel like when you're not in command, you'll probably be dead. You'll probably be murdered. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, Director. Anakin! If the Empire has this kind of power, what chance do we have? What chance do we have? The question is what choice? Run, hide, plead for mercy, scatter your forces. I'll be there for you. Cassian said I had to. <laughs> Rogue? Okay. Rogue One. Rogue One? There is no Rogue One. There is now, well, there bitch. Is now. Rogue One. Pulling away. Pulling away. I must return to Alderaan to inform my people. Alderaan. That is the name of the planet. This, these are Leia's parents, right? Scarif. Okay. We're coming in. This planet looks a lot more pleasant than most of the planets in this uh, galaxy. If it weren't occupied by the uh, by the Empire, that would be my vacation spot for sure. I've got a bad feeling about it. Hey. Quiet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to hear about your bad feelings anymore, okay? Not to mention 
They've been wrong so far, so zip it. Hell yeah. This is my vacation spot. After the emperor, like, you know, gets defeated. This is where I'm vacationing if I live in this galaxy. Hell yeah. I'm curious about the life of a stormtrooper now. Like, do they choose to become stormtroopers? Were they forced to become stormtroopers? I have questions about them. Troopers! Troopers! Troopers on the left! Get in! Because it seems like there's just like an endless amount of stormtroopers, you know? Because 20 or 30 of them get killed like every fucking battle. They're useless as hell, I'm sorry. So I'm just like, Who's choosing, who's choosing to be a stormtrooper? Because uh, they're very clearly losers. <laughs> Can we help you? That won't be necessary. <laughs> Boop. Scat it. They're going to scat it. Oh, oh uh, look who it is. <laughs> uh, nice little cameo. From my favorite droid duo. Aww. Oh, one of these f***ing machine things. I think that we saw this in episode five, The Emperor Strikes Back. All squadron leaders report in. Admiral, this is Blue Leader standing by. This is Gold Leader standing by. Oh, cool. Rebel fleet has arrived. Uh, what? The, like, stark white ships in Star Wars just look so good against the darkness of space. It's just such an iconic look. You'll need this. You wanted one, right? Yeah. Your behavior, Janasso, is continually unexpected. <laughs> I guess it's ruining my vacation spot. Stay with me. Oh, this looks so cool. That alien shriek sounded like R2D2. The rebels! They went over there. <laughs> so what's going on out there? <laughs> There's one. Oh well. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, stormtroopers. I feel bad for them. Whoa. We're having no effect on that shield. I need help. <laughs> oh god. Do we ever see this droid again? K whatever? I wonder if he's in like 7, 8, and 9 or anything like that. He's no C3PO, but you know. I like him. Stardust. That's it. I don't know that. I know because it's me. I was wondering if there was significance to her father calling her Stardust. Climb! Climb! You can still send the plans to the fleet! Did he just get hit? The tower. Oh. Locking the vault door now! Goodbye! Ah! Oh, I was just... I was excited to see him again. Aww. Oh, so this is your plan. Okay, okay. Well. Oh my god. 
that is a level of bravery I just do not have. Oh my god, twice? Two people? Like you couldn't just have like one person go do it and you stay behind? You both had to do it? I cannot relate to that level of commitment or bravery. I'm going! Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing. I They can't, no. You have a TV show, I think. Oh my god. Who are you? None of your fing business. Die with the rebellion. I really would not have been shocked if she had died there. Transmission received. Admiral, we have the plans. She did it. Yeah, she did. Whoa, that looks fucking cool. Oh, uh. Look at my boy Anakin all grown up. He does look fucking cool, I can't even lie. Oh yeah, he's gonna capture them! Your Highness, the transmission we received. What is it they've sent us? Oh. I thought that they weren't gonna show her face. Oh my god! I love that ending. I love how it's an exact replica of how the older movies ended. Alright guys, we just finished Rogue One and I have thoughts. I have thoughts. At the beginning, I definitely felt like I was playing a little bit of catch up just because there were so many new characters that I needed to learn the names of or their allegiances or their relationships. And then there were new planets and like Star Wars has some very interesting naming conventions as well. So um, in general, even if I was like tasked with learning a few new things, it does take a few moments to like actually um, remember them because they're so unique. So I do feel like at the beginning I was trying to make sure that I was on the right page with what the story was and where the story was headed. I feel like where this movie really hit its stride though was in the third act when we have, you know, the fleets going up against each other. That was visually really, really stunning. I thought that this movie looked great. Like there were some really stunning just aerial shots looking down at the planet that I wanted to vacation at before they destroyed the city. So I did find Cassian Andor to be quite compelling. So I'm wondering now if the show deals with his life leading up to the events of Rogue One or if the characters are not dead and I was just led to believe that they are. So if you guys think Andor, Andor, if you guys think Andor is worth checking out for me, um, let me know. 
I do have a question about at the beginning of the movie Galen says to Jin he says everything I'm doing is to protect you to play devil's advocate for a moment I just I guess I'm wondering what the logic is behind saying that but then having your grand plan involving your daughter having to go get the plans to something that's going to put her into extreme danger and then ultimately be murdered wait 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 i guess i technically don't know whether she was killed in that blast like i don't actually know i guess so i guess there is a possibility that she didn't die but I'm gonna operate with the assumption that she did die. Um, I'm just saying, like, if if your goal was to protect your daughter, perhaps there was a better way that didn't involve her, which is like a little bit nitpicky, maybe. But if that's the case, then don't tell her that everything I'm doing is to protect you. You know, because like ultimately you were her downfall. Am I wrong in that? Am I wrong? I don't know, let me know if I'm wrong or if I'm, I'm or if I'm misinterpreting things. I guess the argument could be that if he didn't do what he did, then the alternative would be that the Death Star would have been made immaculately and that, you know, she would have no chance in a world like that. Perhaps that's what he meant, but I'm just saying his plans put her in the line of fire. <laughs> I did like the framing of the Death Star having a weak spot because the engineer or scientist or whatever who worked on it intentionally put that in there as sort of like a beacon of hope, I guess. Um, I do like that framing. I think that it's really creative. And I also think that it's a nice way to sort of explain away something that you might be like well why would the death star have a weak point like why would somebody build it with a weak point um i felt like that was a good explanation and i found it quite believable i was a little bit confused by saw guerrera like i guess i wanted a little bit more backstory on how he was such an extremist why he needed his like little oxygen machine thing like they were just, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I feel like I was missing a piece of the puzzle there because Jin was talking about how he raised her, but we really don't get much background on that aside from the fact that she says that when she was 16, he left her in a, whatever she said, I can't remember exactly. But again, I feel like I'm missing something with that plot and perhaps it is that I just missed it myself, but let me know if there was something I was missing about that character because I really felt like at the beginning of the film, I felt like he was going to have much more significance. And I felt like their history, like Jin's history with Saul Guerrera was going to have more importance because you could tell that she clearly had some level of animosity towards him. And I felt like that was going to come out in the plot some way. I don't feel like that happened, but um, it is also possible that I missed something because, again, I felt like at the beginning of this movie, I was playing a little bit of catch up, trying to um, understand exactly what I just got plopped into. There's certain lore about Star Wars that was mentioned in this movie that I don't feel like I have a firm understanding on, like... Um, they referred to, oh gosh, what's that guy's name? Chirrut and the other guy as um, something of the wills or something. I don't know. Let me Google it. Let me Google it. As guardians of the wills. I have no idea what the f*** that means. Am I supposed to know what that means? Because I have no idea what the f*** that means. I feel like I've mostly been going into the things that I've found kind of confusing about the movie, but overall, I did find it interesting. It was really, really nice to be back into the world of Star Wars. Um, I think that the lore 
and just the world building is so fascinating and it really 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 makes me want to go just on the internet and do a deep dive myself so while i wouldn't necessarily say out of all the star wars films i've seen that it was my favorite star wars i still enjoyed it i do wish that we got to see some more favorites but at a certain point, it just sort of seems like fan service, so I understand um, why they steered clear of doing so. So yeah. My closing thought, I guess, would be that needs more Chewbacca. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this with me. I had fun. I enjoyed this one. Not as much as the other Star Wars, but still had fun with it and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it along with me. I will see you guys next week for probably another Marvel film. We need to start getting back on our Marvel so I'll see you guys there. And if you were trying to get a good look at my shirt, here it is in all its glory. Bye!